Today we're going to be preparing healthy dinner recipes. This is a sneak preview of what's ahead. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Lenora from Fitness Overcomer. Today we're gonna to be doing an entire week of dinner food recipes that you can use for your entire family. When I first started my fitness journey, one of the things that I had to learn was a way that I can incorporate this fitness lifestyle as a lifestyle. And so to me, making meals just for myself and then making separate meals for my family wasn't something I know that I could sustain. So I had to come up with different recipes, different food choices that will work for everyone. I have a picky eater, so it was a challenge. I had to try a lot of different recipes. So today, I'm gonna to take you into my kitchen and we're gonna go through some of the recipes that works for our family. And in the, pre the upcoming weeks, I'll share some more with you and hopefully it can work for you too. Meal prep has been one of the foundations of me being successful on this fitness journey. I think it's very important to plan ahead and to know what you're eating and this way you don't make the wrong choices or spontaneous choices. I mean, life happens and there'll be a couple times where it will happen, but not on a continuous basis. And so meal prepping has been that foundation for me. And I encourage you, if you don't meal prep, to think about it because it takes the guesswork out of it. You get busy during the week, you don't have to worry about food, you don't have to worry about your family, you just have to focus on your responsibilities and of course, getting your workout in. So come with me into my kitchen and let's do some cooking. The first thing I recommend is making a list of all the ingredients that you will need for your food prep. Next, to make the meal prep process as efficient as possible, place all the ingredients together. This way you can see which ingredients take the longest and start with those first. Always start with the food items that take the longest to cook. In this case, it's the sweet potatoes. I've already washed them. Now I'm making holes in them to allow the steam to escape as it cooks and wrapping them in foil to bake. Place sweet potatoes in cold oven at 400 degrees for an hour and 10 minutes. Now I'm putting on the jasmine rice, which my kids love, with using some Himalayan salt, two cups of rice with two cups of water. Of course, if your preference is brown rice, feel free to use which type of rice that you fancy. So now onto the eggs. Yes, I'm using an egg maker, love it. All you do, put holes in the egg, put the amount of water based on if you want it soft, medium or hard, turn it on. When the light comes off, it's all done. Very easy. If you're interested, I will put the link below. I got it on Amazon. Okay, now onto the chicken. Chicken has already been washed with white distilled vinegar and as you can see I'm cutting off any extra pieces of fat. Today we're going to be doing two chicken recipes. The first one is a spinach and pepperoni stuffed chicken breast recipe and for this you want to cut a slit into the chicken breast by having the knife parallel to the cutting surface. This creates a pocket for the filling. The next chicken dish is a stovetop grilled chicken recipe. For this, you want to cut the chicken breast into half to three quarter inch pieces.
Now we're going to marinate the chicken. Normally I will do this the day before the food prep or at least 4 hours before cooking. But for the purpose of this meal prep video, we're going to do it now. The main ingredient is the Ken Steakhouse Light Northern Italian with basil and Romano dressing and marinade. Shake it really well, pour a generous amount. Add some black pepper, Himalayan salt and garlic powder to taste. Mix it up really well as you can see I don't mind getting my hands dirty. The rice and boiled eggs are all done. I have the eggs soaking in ice and water while I prepare the rice. You want to prepare the rice while it's still hot so the spinach can soften. Now we're going to add the ingredients. Pour the hot rice into the bowl. Add olive oil, about 2 tablespoons, fresh cilantro, garlic powder, and then a handful of spinach that you want to break up into smaller pieces. Now mix all the ingredients. I came up with this recipe one Sunday. I'm always trying to find ways to incorporate micronutrients into the diet. Now we're going to get the stuffed spinach and pepperoni chicken breast ready. Preheat the oven for 375 degrees. You want to put all the ingredients on one plate so it's easy to get access to, to stuff. So that is the turkey pepperoni, um, mozzarella cheese, I use the low fat one, spinach and some whole wheat breadcrumbs. We're going to open the chicken breast up, put two to three turkey pepperoni slices, some spinach and just a sprinkle of the mozzarella cheese. Close it and then on to the next one. You want to do that with each one. Make sure and spray the pan with olive oil spray before placing the chicken. Once we're all done, lightly spray the top of the chicken breast with some olive oil and then sprinkle the top with the whole wheat breadcrumbs. Sprinkle with Italian seasoning and some Himalayan salt. Place chicken in preheated oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until it reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. While the chicken is baking, I'm going to go ahead and prepare the vegetables to be roasted so that they will be ready to go into the oven when the chicken is done. Today we're roasting broccoli, red peppers and onions. When roasting, try to keep the vegetables that take the same amount of time like broccoli, peppers, onions, Brussels sprouts together. Those take about 25 minutes at 420 degrees. Carrots, sweet potatoes and squash, they take about 45 minutes. Now we're going to add some basil, garlic powder, Himalayan salt, oregano, black pepper and some olive oil to the vegetables. Mix it all up and pour it Onto the bacon tray, make sure that it's in one layer. Bake at 420 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. And lastly, let's get the salmon ready. I guess it's up to preference, but I prefer my salmon without the skin, so I'm taking the skin off. Very easy, once you get a hold of one end, it's very easy to come off. Next, I'm going to cut the salmon into half, which makes it a lot easier for cooking, I'm going to salt it with some Himalayan salt, some garlic powder, and most of all, lemon pepper seasoning. That's the key. And finally, I'm going to be cooking the grilled chicken and the salmon. Heat both pans to medium heat. I'm adding avocado oil. That grilled pan I actually got at IKEA years ago works really well. I'm adding the chicken, the grilled chicken. Next place the salmon season side down. The 
season with lemon pepper seasoning, garlic powder, and Himalayan salt. Here's the chicken occasionally. The salmon I usually cook for about 9 minutes on each side until it reaches an internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit. See I'm separating the salmon. Usually I can tell when it's time to turn. If you look on the inside of the salmon, you'll actually see it gets a bit white. When that white mark reaches halfway, that's when you are, it's ready to turn, which is usually around nine minutes. Okay, so this is the big stuffed chicken and the roasted vegetables. Yum, it is so yummy, look at that. Wow, it's perfect. Okay, so here's the finished product. Some tin rings, black beans for the salad, eggs, boiled eggs, roasted vegetables, yum. Some frozen broccoli that I heated up in the microwave. There's the stuffed chicken, mmm. The salmon. Our grilled chicken. The sweet potatoes that I mashed up and sprinkled some cinnamon powder and our spinach and garlic rice. Everything in containers ready to store. Okay, we have some examples of meals. Here is a salad bowl with the grilled chicken, the spinach rice, eggs, avocado, black beans, tomato salad. We have Ezekiel bread with boiled eggs and avocado. We have a wrap with the chicken and avocado with salad. The stuffed chicken with the spinach rice and some vegetables and lastly salmon broccoli and sweet potatoes okay folks that's it thank you for spending the time with me in my kitchen as you can see just under two hours you can have a full week of dinner recipes healthy recipes for you and your family it takes the guesswork out of it it helps you to plan and it helps you to be able to achieve your fitness goals. So remember, subscribe so you can see future videos because I'm gonna have lots more in store. You can also follow me on my Instagram page at fitnessovercomer, one word. Oh, I have a blog, fitnessovercomer.com. I also have a podcast that you can listen to on most platforms, even Alexa. Just search for Fitness Overcomer. And lastly, I'm also on Facebook. Just search up Lenora Terrell. Until next time, guys. Have a great week. Bye for now.